Imagine a fortress on a mountaintop in the heart of the desert, a symbol of courage and resilience. This is no fiction, this is Masada. Nestled in the rugged terrains of Israel, Masada is more than just an ancient fortress. It's a symbol of Jewish heroism, a beacon of resistance that stood strong against the might of an empire. So how did this fortress come to be, and what tales does it hold? Journey back in time with us to unravel the story of Masada. Our story begins in the first century BCE, during the reign of King Herod. This was a time of great political instability in the region, and Herod, known for his paranoia, sought to secure a stronghold that could serve as a refuge for himself and his family in times of revolt. The king's eyes turned to Masada, a flat-topped mountain in the Judean desert, isolated and naturally fortified. Herod saw its potential and decided to transform it into an impregnable fortress. The construction was a feat of engineering. Workers were tasked with hauling materials up the steep slopes, building walls that were 12 feet thick and over 20 feet high, surrounding the plateau. To fend off potential attackers, they constructed towers at key points, a casemate wall, and storehouses for food and weapons. But Masada was not just a fortress, it was also a royal retreat. Herod built a luxurious palace on the mountaintop, complete with bathhouses, a swimming pool, and stunning frescoes. The palace was divided into three tiers, each offering a panoramic view of the surrounding desert and the Dead Sea. Imagine the king, sitting high above the world, watching the sun set over the desert landscape. Despite the harsh desert conditions and the monumental task at hand, the fortress was completed in less than 10 years. And so Masada stood, a majestic desert fortress, a testament to Herod's ambition and fear. Fast forward to 70 CE when Rome laid siege to Jerusalem, triggering a series of events that would forever etch Masada into history. This period was marked by the Great Revolt, a fierce uprising of the Jews against the mighty Romans. The revolt was nothing short of a David versus Goliath showdown, with the Jews showing immense bravery and resilience in the face of Rome's formidable power. Among the Jewish rebels, a zealous group known as the Sicarii played a pivotal role. Named after the small daggers or sikai they carried, the Sicarii were known for their guerrilla warfare tactics and unyielding spirit. As the Roman forces closed in on Jerusalem, the Sicarii seized the opportunity to flee to Masada, a fortress of solitude and strength atop an isolated rock plateau in the Judean desert. The Sicarii, under the leadership of Eleazar ben Yair, transformed Masada into a self-sufficient community, preparing for the inevitable Roman onslaught. And indeed, the Romans were not far behind. In 73 CE, the 10th Roman legion, led by Flavius Silva, laid siege to Masada, encircling the fortress with a wall over three miles long and initiating a blockade that would last several months. But the Romans were not content to wait. Demonstrating their remarkable engineering prowess, they began the construction of a massive ramp on the western side of the fortress. Using thousands of tons of earth and stone and the forced labor of Jewish prisoners, the Romans built a ramp that reached the height of the fortress walls. This monumental feat of engineering allowed the Romans to move a battering ram up the ramp and breach Masada's defenses. But as the Romans prepared to storm Masada, they were in for a grim surprise. As dawn broke on that fateful day, the Romans breached the fortress ready for battle. But what they found was silence. The Sicarii, the Jewish zealots who had held Masada for three long years, were nowhere to be found, their battle cries replaced by an eerie quiet. The Romans ventured further into the fortress, their swords gleaming in the early morning light, only to stumble upon a scene of profound despair. The Sicarii had made a choice, a choice that would etch their story into the annals of history. Rather than submit to the yoke of Roman slavery, they had chosen to embrace death, their final act a symbol of their indomitable spirit. The leader of the Sicarii, Eleazar ben Yair, had delivered a stirring speech, imploring his followers to choose freedom in death over bondage in life. He spoke of their ancestors, of the legacy they would leave behind, of the courage it took to defy the mighty Roman Empire. His words, filled with passion and resolve, inspired the Sicarii to make their last stand, not on the battlefield, but in the sanctity of their own homes. One by one, the Sicarii took their own lives, their faces set in grim determination. Fathers fell on their swords, mothers held their children close, their tears mingling with the dust of Masada. And when the last breath was drawn, the fortress fell silent, its walls echoing the final act of defiance of the Sicarii. The Romans had won the siege, but the victory was a hollow one. 
The fortress they had fought so hard to conquer was now a tomb, a monument to the courage and conviction of the Sakari. The story of Masada, of the last stand of the Sakari, is a testament to the human spirit. It is a tale of resistance, of the refusal to bow down in the face of overwhelming odds. It is a story that reminds us of the power of choice, of the strength that lies in the human will. In their death, the Sakari echoed a powerful message of freedom that would resonate through the ages. From a majestic fortress to a symbol of resistance, Masada has endured the sands of time. Today, it is more than just an archaeological site. It serves as a vibrant symbol of Jewish heroism, a story of resolve and resilience that resonates through the ages. The ancient fortress has found its place in the hearts of the Jewish community and beyond, a beacon of defiance against overwhelming odds. In 21, Masada was recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site, a testament to its cultural and historical significance. It's not just a collection of ancient ruins, but a living, breathing testament to a tumultuous past. Modern Israel cherishes Masada, with many Israeli soldiers swearing their oath of allegiance here amidst the echoes of their ancestors' courage. Beyond its historical relevance, Masada is a popular tourist destination, attracting visitors from around the globe drawn to its dramatic history and breathtaking views. Thus stands Masada, a testament to human courage and resilience, a beacon of history echoing tales of yore.